hey what are people continuing on now we're going to be looking into the very important concept of images in uh, PyQt5 so unlike other popular uh, toolkits or frameworks or libraries there isn't a simple way to display image rather there isn't a straightforward way to display images in PyQt5 uh, you, we're going to be looking into a concept of displaying our images our local images in this video I'll take you guys through multiple images as part of uh, displaying network image or say there is some way to display a database image how do you do that and uh, all of that in the upcoming videos but for this video let me share you guys on how to display a local image so if you can see i have already have the local image downloaded it's a sample jpg file and it's going to be this image that we're going to try to show on the application uh, so for that we're going to be involving two important concepts the first concept is the need for a pyqt uh, GUI or the GUI component that comes under this library. So we're going to be dis uh, uh, importing our first library or the first class called as uh, Cubepix Map. So I'll display. Uh, I'll talk more about that uh, as part of the video. But uh, the next one is also to display our uh, image. We need something called as a label. So how do you go about that? Okay, to start start off with, let's start. Uh, let's make use of the already available application here. We have a main widget and that actually is showing an, uh, a button this is from a previous video in case you haven't watched it so let's not worry about it i'll create a sample class another class let me call it as a class image widget and we'll do the same thing again here we'll just inherit uh, the uh, q widget and we'll do a super of call and uh, we'll go with another method call as uh, show image and uh, make sure to call this as part of this all right so we got, we have done it so show image is here and you're going to be showing some image here so how to go about that the first thing that we need is from our pyqt5 dot qt gui we're going to require the qpix map so qpix map is how is is a class that is going to convert an image into readable uh, Q, uh, the PyQt5's readable uh, pix map. So pixelated map is where every pixel is going to be assigned a 0 or 1 in terms of a 0 or 2, 1, like it's going to be a decimal value. And based on that, the pix map is going to be constructed. It's going to be a simple class. So this class is just going to convert our image into readable or understandable PyQt5 uh, understandable pix map. Once that QPix map is generated, we have to show it to the user, right? So what are you going to be making use of is a widget. So only widgets can be used or put on a uh, image. Uh, only a widget can be put on an application. We'll learn about layouts in the next video, but for now, only widgets can be shown. So for widgets to be shown, we require a widget called as QLabel. Now, what does this label do? Labels are nothing but a simple way of holding up. It's a simple placeholder. You can have a Q label can hold, say, a video. It could even hold a GIF. It could hold anything. It could be a image. It could be a text or it could be any kind of a thing. And it has the ability to hold it. And the understandable language for Q label is a pix map. So pixelated map is what is the Q label can understand. So now I hope I've gotten you've I've established a connection between the need for a Q pix map and the Q label. Now let's go ahead and start. Uh, creating our first uh, the variable the first variable that we are requiring is going to be called as the say let's call it image itself and we're going to be loading the qpix map and the qpix map is now going to be taking the image itself the image here is a sample jpg so as soon as i put it it's going to be shown so if you see here uh, it's going to be shown it's opening fine and uh, I, I would recommend using py PyCharm for this because it's automatically going to connect it for you. If I do something like this and it will say that there is nothing image, there is no image, fine. So it's it's like that. If I make by mistake something like this, no image is found, right? It's not able to load it. So it's a mistake. So I would recommend you guys to use PyCharm. Easier to understand all this minor errors that you usually do. All right. So we have loaded the Q image using the QPix map. If you print the image here, you will see it's going to be an object of the cubics map and it's, it's going to have a lot of values. Uh, some simple look inside will give you a lot of important uh, variables or attributes starting from size, your true matrix width and uh, scale. What is the scale to height metric? All of this is going to be as part of the cubics map. All right. Now we have, we have gotten the image in the form of a cubics map. Now we have to show it to the user. Now the possible way is to first create a variable for the queue label and how do you do that is creating a variable for queue label is as simple as that just do a simple label i'll call a queue label and what's the parameter it's going to take 
as we did in the previous video for button it is it we need to specify where should the label be attached to if you give a self here that means that attached wherever i am present meaning the class that is going to be present for it's going to be the image widget class so it's going to be attaching it to the image widget and since it's actually an inherited class of q widget it will automatically understand that it has to be shown on the image widget all right now the label is created label object is created the next method call that we're going to be doing is the label dot set pics map so set pics map if you if you could see it's going to take an object or it's going to take a variable of a cupix map it's, it will understand only cupix map a, a class so now what we have is a cupix map is the image and just go and th load it here and we're pretty much done you can now if you want to resize it you can do a resize just like how we did for button resize would maybe give a much better number i would want to give a number like uh, 600 comma 300 i don't know the ratio of the image or the i don't know the what size the image is let me resize it for this one all right so we have done this part and i have also uh, loaded into our image widget now the first next step we have to do is we are actually loading this met this widget in the previous video so what we're going to be doing is replace this at image widget class all right that's it so we've done you have trying to load it and see how it shows on the use on the on the application all right let me run, run it awesome it's showing but again it's uh it's showing only the half portion of it if i remove the resize if i remove the resize of uh, this one it will be showing the entire application all right if you go here awesome right it's showing everything right here it's just going to be the entire image is shown and i can see it's actually very good awesome so this is just a simple example of how to load a local image and uh, i'll show you guys how to load a network image in the next upcoming videos because it's a similar process you're going to be just replacing our way of downloading the image and we're just going to use a network uh, package load the image and then again feed it into the cupix map and that's how you show it now one more important concept that i want to talk about was let's say that I have a button here let's copy paste this and uh, let's copy not copy this part this part I'll copy paste this and feed it here all right you fit it here and we just close this portion out load it there is no button shown on the screen that is the main reason for not showing this button is that what happens is that when you load something below like what is the recent one that is being loaded is the only thing that's going to be shown on the view uh, on the application so if this gui is should have a button here first and then image that's the intention but what i'm uh, actually seeing is that the button is being overridden by the image that we loaded last so that is actually not very good right i want to show both button and an image what should i do about it i'm going to be i'm going to be showing that by the concept of layouts so that's going to be the next video we're going to be understanding how layouts are created how layouts are very very useful and how we can actually arrange our widgets in a specific layout and show it to the application so that's what we're going to be learning about in the next video that's it for this one hope i i showed you and shared you guys on how to create images in pyqt5 very easily let's jump to the next one and we'll learn more about that